Let's talk some more about this Adrian Broner, Eddie Hearn situation. Uh, yesterday, I did a Google search on Adrian Broner for some reason. I can't remember why. But some of his recent Twitter slash Instagram posts popped up. Now, I'm going to read you the first one that caught my attention. This is from Instagram. He posted a picture of uh, Showtime Championship Boxing, their logo. And this is what he said. Uh, my loyalty is with at Showtime Boxing, Steve Espinosa and Al Heyman with a kissy face and two ABs. My loyalty is with Showtime Boxing, Steven Espinosa, and Al Heyman. Talking about kissing up to the man, kissing up to uh, your network. You know, he literally doing it on Instagram. All right. This was the next one that caught my attention. Uh, he, on Instagram, he posts a snapshot of something that Steven uh, Espinosa tweeted out and replying to some guy named Adam Abram Mowitz, I guess. This is what uh, the guy said. This Adam guy. I guess it was silly of Eddie to think that Broner would even want to fight three times in a year. Espinosa says, It was silly of him to think that AB isn't already making more than $2.5 million a fight. Alright. Uh, and then Broner posts that snapshot and he says... I will never cross Steven and Al. That's why I'm paid in caps. Hashtag facts in caps. It's Showtime Boxing forever. You know, again, talking about kissing up to the man. Um, <laughs> you know, um, and people are, are buying into Espinosa's bullshit, that weasel. Uh, talking about uh, it's silly of Eddie to think that Broner wasn't already making more than two point five million a fight, you know. But if he is, why y'all not uh, uh, disclosing the shit? Why y'all uh, doing this under the table shit? You know, why y'all saying he only making a million in a fight and then giving him more? You know, that's the kind of business that, that y'all are running. You know, these under the table uh, back room deals. You know, does Uncle Sam need to come investigate, see what the hell's going on? You know. Uh, silly of him to think that AB isn't already making more than 2.5 million a fight. You know, making two, making more than 2.5. You know, can't win a big fight. His last big fight, uh, big win was against Paulie Malnagy in 2013. A gift, in my opinion. You know, that was his last big victory. You know, I, I don't blame Eddie for the terms and the money that, that he offered him. Man, hell, uh, offering him double what he was making um, on a listed purse. Hell, that was hell. That was good enough, for Adrian Broner, man. But uh, you know, and uh, no, I do not uh necessarily trust and believe this weasel Espinosa as uh uh Connor called him. You know, um, but you know, I'm doing this video, man, because um, let me go back to the previous one that I read. All right. My loyalty is with Showtime boxer Steve, Steve Espinosa and Al Heyman. Kissy face. All right. Now, if he is loyal to these guys, why was he talking with Eddie in the first place? You know, if he really is loyal to these guys, why was he talking to Eddie in the first place? You know, it's either one or two things. Either he isn't as loyal as he's claiming, or he was an informant for uh, Al Heyman and Steven Espinosa. Just somebody that went out there whether he did it on his own or he was instructed to. To to have back and forth with Eddie to see what Eddie would offer, to see what kind of uh competition they would have uh monetarily uh with uh Eddie Hearn, you know. To me it's gotta be one of those two things. Either he really is not loyal or he was loyal and he was just playing Eddie, talking that shit to Eddie, and then, you know, put the deal out there to uh, you know, try to clown Eddie. And quote unquote expose him as people said, you know. So well, uh, yeah, I just want to come on and uh, say that man, you know, uh, was was Broner really uh uh, you know, being loyal uh, or not being loyal by talking to Eddie, or was he being an informant and being loyal, you know? 
you know, going talking to Eddie and then running back to Espinosa and, and Heyman, you know, kissing up to them and shit like you're doing on Instagram, you know, showing what, what Eddie can offer, man. You know, uh, that was the first thing that popped in my head when I read this shit, man, that Adrian Broner is an informant, or he was an informant for uh, Espinosa and Heyman, man. You know, if he really is loyal to these guys, as he's saying, you know, otherwise he was not being loyal and he was talking to uh, Eddie in a serious matter. So it's one or the other, man, you know, one or the other, you know, you guys, uh, you know, let me know what you think, you know, was the guy uh, not loyal and really talking to Eddie trying to get a big deal or was he being loyal all along and just being a little informant and a little, you know, a little snitch, get a little uh, information gatherer. You know, and running back, telling these guys, showing these guys what uh, Eddie was offering, man. And then put it out there for the world to see, try to get a laugh and shit. You know, so that's the way I'm seeing it, guys. Um, let me go back to this uh, Weasel Espinosa. Uh, it was silly of him to think that AB is not already making more than 2.5 million a fight. You know, I don't, I don't trust, I don't trust to believe this guy for shit, man. Um... You know, of of course he's gonna try to talk up uh Brona's salary and what he's making. Uh, you know, to keep guys on showtime and have guys want to continue uh, coming to showtime. But I tell uh, Adrian Brona this man, while he's talking about being loyal to these guys, let him keep losing fights, not being able to win a big fight, and uh, his stock gonna drop. And let's see how loyal these guys are gonna be. Uh, are they gonna keep putting him in main events, paying him uh, you know, a good dollar to, to fight on showtime, man? I don't think so. I don't think so, you know. He 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 just a part of the system, man. He just a you know, uh, you know, just a a cog in the machine, man. Hell, once once they use him up and get tired of him, get all they get out of him, they gonna be done with his ass. Forget this loyalty talk that they talking about, you know, that he talking about. Shit, when 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 his value drops to uh the Showtime and Al Heyman, they will be done with him, man. As I said to some people before, man. Hell, Agent Brown retires and goes broke. Shit, they ain't gonna be uh, writing him sympathy checks and shit, you know. So, Adrian Brown should be loyal to himself, man. Hell, get as much money as he can get. He could have had a, a negotiation with uh, Eddie and got even more money, man. You know, if if he in fact is making uh, more than two point five million to fight, which I find it hard to believe. Hell, he uh, did not beat Mike Garcia. He did not beat uh, Sean Porter. You know, he did not beat Marcos Madonna. He did not beat uh, Jesse Vargas. You know. Uh, if he's really uh, making more than two point five million a fight, you know he could have had that negotiation with Eddie, and maybe he could, he could have got more, man. You know, more than what Showtime and Al is paying him. So I just want to come on and say that shit, man. Um, you know, I stand by what I said about Broner. I think it was a bad move. Uh, you know, once again, uh, you know, making a terrible business move online. You know, having negative things to say about people with money who could pay him uh, a great dollar. So, you know, was he loyal uh, uh, and being an informant or was he not being loyal trying to get more money? It's one or other, man. So, let me know what you guys think and I'll check in soon. Thanks for watching.